present Martia Mungunonganzai, Federal Constituency of Borno State. Mr. Speaker, foreign members, I commend Mr. President for timely presentation of the budget and equally also commend the executive arm of government for nearly implementing up to about 50 percent of the budget as we are speaking now because in, in, in some cases 75 percent of the budget because over the years the trend has been around this time when the budget is presented it's only about 30 40 percent implementation of the budget now that we are witness about 50 percent implementation of the budget and still expecting more before the budget is passed the executive arm of government deserves kudos for that performance mr speaker honorable members my submission is with regard to agriculture looking at the budget agriculture got about 110 billion naira of the capital expenditure and there is the mafuto declaration where all countries in africa willingly agreed and signed the Magufuto Declaration to the effect that they are going to commit at least 10 percent of their budget to the agricultural sector. And this commitment was done against the backdrop of the fact that agriculture, not only in Nigeria but in Africa in general, accounts for about 70 percent of our employment and accounts for a substantial part of our gross domestic product. So it's a sector that we need to give a lot of emphasis in our national budget. Looking at our budget now, agriculture got about 0. Point something percent of the budget. Agriculture is not even given about 1 percent of the budget. So there is a need for an improvement in the agricultural sector in view of the fact that agriculture accounts for about 70 percent of our employment and about 30 percent of our gross domestic product. Mr. Speaker, having looked at the budget also, I realized that over the years, the northeastern part of the country enjoys the least amount of budgetary allocation. And this administration also is not an exception. So there is a need for us to look at that aspect and also increase the budgetary allocation to the northeastern part of the country because Apart from the Boko Haram insurgency, is the zone that is least developed in terms of infrastructure. Our roads are in, in a complete state of disrepair. Our infrastructure is in rumbles. So there is a need for a robust allocation to the northeastern part of the country. Though we commend Mr. President for the Northeast Development Commission and also for the robust allocation of 29.8 billion naira to the Northeast Development Commission for the purpose of uh, taking care of devastation occasioned by the Boko Haram insurgency. And then lastly, I want to emphasize on the need in terms, uh, in line with our legislative agenda for a very robust oversight on our part. So with a view to seeing to the logical implementation of the budget so that Nigerians will enjoy the dividends of democracy that is enshrined in the budget. Thank you.